It's for the F Shack. Love Dirty Mike and the Boys. Hey, are you Dirty Mike and the Boys? How do you know who we are? What's this? They call it the podcast? Morning, day, good. Oh, I love hey, it. Welcome to the earth. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, I'll start up. Welcome to the morning. Yeah. Yeah. A level. Yeah, I'm on my level. Yeah. Dude, I, uh, I remember I initially hated Wiz Khalifa. He was one of those yeah. guys, by the way, we were here with Patty DeFino. Hey. <laughs> and James Donlin. Hey, what's going on, guys? Great, great to be here. Thanks for inviting me out. Oh, that was Gee, better uh, than mine. Yeah. I don't think you liked either of ours. Yeah, I didn't like either of them. <laughs> that either. is a tough one because it's like I'm here with this person and they have like an allotted like second of time to to think about. Like, you you Whoa. heard what he said it had to make a decision on it. Yeah. Right? And you know what I did? I knocked it out of the park. <laughs> yeah, I Because I'm not playing to the room. I'm playing to the listener at home. And yeah, they the were like, like wow. you know what? I'm appreciative too that I get to listen to this. Right. right now. Yeah. Was that blindfolded episode we did before you had video? Uh, I think so. I th- well, I used to do that thing where I had clips, but I didn't have video. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, just, just be the clips. And right. Then I just didn't put on YouTube. Which yeah. Other people will do. And I like, I think it's so stupid. But then I did it for a while because I didn't know people were actually looking on YouTube. Because I was like, yeah. what kind of fucking loser watches a whole hour of podcast? <laughs> yeah. And now I do it's that. Everyone. Now randomly, yeah, yeah. there'll be like a physical bit. And I'm like, oh, I want to see what the, <laughs> oh, what, yeah, what is Joe yeah. List doing on this one? And I'm like, oh, that's the face he was making. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was that's just such a funny concept of us doing a blindfolded podcast and the audience has no idea. Yeah, well, I mean, the whole time I thought I was going to get hit in the balls. Like, that was like my big fear is I was like, <laughs> yeah. somebody's going to hit me in the balls. Right. I'm just scared of closing my eyes in general. I don't know. Yeah. That would be sorry. a funny thing to do with the doctors to just close your eyes while they're, <laughs> mm. <laughs> they're looking yeah. at your balls. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dude, I had a beautiful doc one time. Yeah, yeah. Peruse the uh, the old pants of Patty D. Dude, I would get I get hard every time a hot chick doctor looks at my feet. I think especially because I was in a relationship. You get so hard long. in the doctor's yeah, office, yeah, even dude. with like I let them know the what's up. sterile environment of a. Dude, I have a thing for doctors' a offices, jar of and I don't want to be a pervert, but I have a thing for doctors' offices. Yeah. So I, I'm very used to be afraid of the doctors as a kid, and I think they say something about like what you're into is like the, normally the opposite yeah. of what you like in real life. Yeah. So, so what you feared as a kid is what you like as an adult. Yeah, it's like so, Batman. He's probably sexually attracted right. to bats. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. why I want to fuck bears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah. like, yeah, no, I would get like, uh, well, because I think also part of it was being in a relationship for like seven years that like no woman touches you, and then like a woman touches you, you're like, oh. Yeah, and also they have to kind of they can't be like Ugh, <laughs> when they're like touching your dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's also hotter. Like for some reason, not sexual is hot to me. Like somebody yeah. just being very just like, this is it. This is touching your penis. Yeah. I don't know why I have Barack Obama. <laughs> Obama's <laughs> checking your penis. Yep. Checking your penis so, the, so I can make sure if I can marry you. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need a penis for me to propose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Take that, Barack. Yeah. Wow. First yeah. his chef drowns. Now you're calling his wife a man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that for, is. God forbid he's never heard that before. Yeah. Well, the uh, that is the funniest. The, the message is. I've talked about it before. Those those that male is so funny that that we we did blow past it. It is irrelevant if he's gay or not, but it's just a fun thing yeah. that nobody's really leaning. Like if anything, if I was the gay community, I would be hyping up the Barack Obama is gay. Yeah, thing. You remember how Barack Obama, Obama Dumbledore himself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He just, he's like, like, I was gay the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was gay the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, my whole administration was gay. I'm the first gay press. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, by the way, for the people who don't know, there were... Barack Obama is gay. Bye, bye, bye. Okay. Not every guy who has <laughs> sex with men is gay. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was, I think it was a family guy. They're all looking at a strip club, but they're like, uh, gay men go to male strip clubs too. And then Joe goes, yeah, sometimes bisexual guys go also. And they all just like look at Joe for a second and then look back. Sometimes bisexual guys go also. Sometimes, but yeah. <laughs> but um, wait, let me try. Sometimes bisexual. Is that him? Is that it's more Cleveland? Oh, sorry. Cleveland. Sometimes bisexual. Yeah. yeah. Cleveland. Sometimes bisexual. Guys oh, that's pretty good. Go. You know who has a good one try. is Joey D. Philippus. Really, he's got yeah. a good Cleveland Brown. He like applied to be the new Cleveland Brown. Well, why, that doesn't solve the problem they were trying to solve. <laughs> yeah. They were like, Cleveland's played by a white man; it should be played by a black person. Yeah, yeah. And then it's a different. Joey's white like, guy. this is the job for me in Italian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's black. <laughs> they got a real pedophile to pay pervert or Herbert now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Legally, yeah. you have to. <laughs> <stupid>. <laughs> yeah. 
That yeah. was the funny thing trying to explain. Like my uh, my brother's wife was walking into us watching Family Guy, and it was the episode where Chris is now hanging out with a new old guy, and he's a Nazi. We're trying to explain. And Herbert's jealous. I'm like, okay, so that guy's a pedophile, and that guy's a Nazi, and he's <laughs> yeah. a guy trying to fuck Chris. And then she's just like, what is this show? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's the greatest show ever made. Basically. Yeah, I can lose. I rewatched the Star Wars one recently because oh, that's so like funny. it's so fucking good. Yeah, yeah. He must have been like he's such a big nerd. We were talking about Seth MacFarlane is like. I didn't realize he stole everything from those Leslie Nielsen movies. Oh yeah, I think it was supposed to be like homage because there's a bunch of like he, there's a bunch of those. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It is. He'll, he they like Ted. That is clearly the scene. It's like shot for shot the scene from Airplane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, and then in in Harvest Moon or whatever the Star Wars one when they're like, oh, are you better be like, you're basically like, you know, it's based on Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he like steps in and he's like. Uh, good luck. Just so you know, we're all counting. I like, yeah, yeah that it's thing, literally but... the cartoon version of uh, Leslie yeah. Nielsen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're kind of the cartoon version of Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> Is that what you've been saying about me behind yeah. my back? <laughs> Dude, have you been telling people in the cartoon version of Leslie Nielsen? <laughs> Stop <laughs> telling people. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. People keep coming up to you for autographs. Yeah. We, we were uh, we were talking about a different podcast. We're just going to recreate the stuff. We did a podcast yesterday. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Rural. There's somebody else's podcast. We, uh, yes offense Yeah And we were like Dude yeah. I hope we can have This gold on ours We're like Let's just try to recreate The bits from the last one Dude you know mm-hmm. what I think it is It's like It's the time of day It's like 6 o'clock Yeah I, I like that we're at 5 right now You're like if we're, You know yeah. We're not quite there I'm yet. like oh, This, this podcast is gonna end Really strong Yeah I know it will And it'll Dude I have right a feeling into... If these listeners to Stay with us Yeah we're gonna have Some payoff. gold coming out Yeah yeah dude. Yeah. We James, do have some surprises planned. James yeah. is the golden hen of comedy. Right? Yeah, yeah. You just got to coax him enough and he'll lay a big fat I'll egg. Big fat egg yeah. <laughs> then you'll be laughing. Then you'll all be laughing at my fat egg. <laughs> yeah. Was there uh, a. Oh, yeah, but we're, they we're saying the thing is that every guy is gay now. Every black man is gay now. <laughs> this is your theory? Well, this is. He's looking away, but you started this theory. I'm trying to he's remember. getting scared. He's getting clammed. I'm trying to remember what the theory was. Every every black guy is. Getting... There's a lot of black dudes coming out oh. as gay now. Not like intentionally, but like they're getting outed. Black dudes don't ever really come out as gay themselves. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of. They get. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It had something to do with like if you're gay, your penis is pink. Yeah, that was a different bit. Yeah. <laughs> this is why we can't do yeah, that. Yeah. We can't bring bits back to life. Yeah, we're joking that all gay men's penises are pink. <laughs> Which is just... Right. You know, Which oh. is why it takes white people longer to realize if they're gay. Because they can't tell if it's pink or not. Yeah, 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 yeah no, yeah, I got yeah. you. I got you. Well, yeah. I'll enjoy that when I listen to this other podcast, I guess. <laughs> yeah, 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 hearing yeah. it explained <laughs> to me on this one is pretty cool. Should we just listen to the other podcast? And, and like, come back here. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. laugh over top Let's of it. Let's do a live react. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, that was the other one. Then it was the because the, a bunch of black guys are getting outed as gay, and we were saying it'd be very funny. There's a deep a white deep state full of like politicians that are just trying to make every black guy look gay because they have bigger dicks. <laughs> <laughs> well, he only fucks guys, but that yeah, 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 yeah. he would never fuck a woman. Only an ass guy. could handle handle length of that <laughs> length of that length. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just listening to uh, Opie and Anthony Louis C.K. like talking to Donald Rumsfeld, and he's asking him if he's a lizard person and if he like eats babies. Like, I think that. Oh be- yeah. Like yeah. to get to that level of like the actual power of government and just to ask them like, so are you a lizard, or, sir? Like yeah, just yeah, over yeah, the yeah. phone yelling and like, what I would love to ask some questions of like, what about a sh- instead of Opie and Anthony, opiate Anthony? Oh, and okay. It's just Anthony Cumia That's and he's we just asleep on the microphone. <laughs> Now to Opie and Anthony, yeah. and that's it. That would be pretty funny, it's a right? Fantastic idea. Wow. I'm gonna yes and everything that's you have. Great. Just like the, la- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the last one, he's talking about how his grandpa's not racist because he wants his granddaughter to only date white people. And I'm like, earlier, earlier I was gr- agreeing with it just to, in his kitchen, and then the mics turned on, and I was like, wait, now that I think, I, and I did think about it more. I did think about it. I, yeah. I, it was not that I the microphones were on. I wanted to say something positive. It was that I was like, I wasn't listening before. Now yeah. I think it is. What's yeah. gonna be funny is like when we're all perceived as racist by our grandchildren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because like we fucked a robot at one point and yeah, we didn't yeah, yeah. ask for consent. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we yeah. like called it a bucket of bolts or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> a slur. <laughs> yeah, I always debated. I remember I talked to my ex about that. I was like, would you be mad if I had sex with a Sex doll. She said, yes. I was like, okay, what about a pocket pussy? She said, no. I was like, where's the line? Googly eyes on the pocket pussy? Is it a sex doll now? <laughs> right. Is yeah. it the yeah. eyes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is the most beautiful eyes. Yeah, just <laughs> googlies. I'm like, oh, yeah, look at <laughs> That's why you're getting lost in them, yeah. 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 Yeah, I've never... Have you ever had, like, an urge to fuck an inanimate object? 
Uh, I made a pocket pussy in high school one time. I took two sponges, I put them together, and I put a What glove. did they do in prison? Yeah, wow. that's what they do in prison. I like yeah. just fuck dudes in the ass. <laughs> the real the real guys in prison, the real strong ones that are too strong to fuck guys yeah. in the ass. You know what? Why, did we just solve prison rape? Just send them pocket pussies. Does that not... They already have iPads. Yeah, but that doesn't... Uh, that doesn't, like quench the thirst of like a squealing man you know because <laughs> you're in prison you're not in prison for being like a lovely guy right you've had a hard life you need to like you need to put someone through some pain that's what it is i think so because a lot of them are like man there's just no women in here but it's like if you could get a pocket they're like yeah that's not really like a, like a man's yeah, ass yeah. is actually more like a woman than a pocket you're like i don't yeah. think so and there's some feminine men in prison too yeah, yeah, arrested yeah. for like stealing makeup. I'd fuck well, a guy. <laughs> I'd fuck a guy in the ass if we put googly eyes on the back. Of yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Back. A little <laughs> lipstick. Well, that was the. the <laughs> Wait, I'm. I want a blow job. Just put googly eyes on an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> a poo blow job. Oh, a little wig. <laughs> a poo blow job. A little wig on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A Dude. top hat. Oh, Mrs. Shitty mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. yeah. I just have to have nothing to talk about. Like, I'm just, like, either deeply inside some man's ass or he's deeply inside mine, but we're from completely different backgrounds. <laughs> yeah. I just don't have any shared experience, you know? Yeah. Like, we have no common references. Like, this is just, like, friends. He's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's like Chandler and Joey in this cell. Do you know that movie, like, uh, what is it, Get Hard? The one where... Yeah, yeah. Kevin Hart. Um, not what I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was going to help me out with my love life. Yeah, yeah. No. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> But like I think a good like that's like a good idea because you don't want to be a white guy going into prison and have to get the swastika tattoo. Right. That's like bad news. You want to. Well, wanna... that is the question: is do you become a Nazi or do you get raped in the ass or is... or do you get really good at freestyle rap? Then they just respect you. And they just respect you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that happens. Or if you can produce beats. Like if you can produce beats for other. People. What are you going to be able to do that? How are you going to be able to like you? You, you have pots and pans. You bang yeah. together to like <laughs> yeah. the perfect. Shoo ba doo Yeah. Well, that guy's got talent. It's just that'd be so funny. You go to produce beats and then they all just beat the shit out of you and rape you. It's like, hey guys, this is cool. They're like, now we're going to rape you ten times harder. Hit that beat. Yeah. Yeah. I made this on my computer. It's just a bunch of dials on a man. Man's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is just a man's ass. And <laughs> that's the power. It's how you power things yeah. in prison. Dude, yeah, that's crazy. Well, so, so somebody had the dumbest argument. I was at a, a show a couple weeks ago in Florida, and this guy's like, there's a lot of guys who, like, you know, they actually purposely uh, get arrested so they can go to prison and have gay sex. I'm like, nobody does that. Do you think yeah, people that's... having gay sex are having a hard time finding it's gay sex? It's never been hard. Right. No. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's probably yeah, if you the, if you're walking down the street and you stop to tie your shoe long enough, yeah, yeah you're gonna find you'll gay have sex. gay sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not <laughs> hard. Someone will have gay sex with you. It might be easier to find than water. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, you're in you're in you're in the desert. Do you think it's easier to find a guy <laughs> to suck your dick? Or a guy's dick to suck? That's always that's the easiest one. To suck for guys. water, I think that's probably what the toll yeah. is going to be for the yeah. water. Eventually. Yeah, yeah, water is currency in some parts of the earth. Right. Yeah, I want. I wonder, like, because that's like water. Sea is there water. water? There's no water on Mars, right? Or there is? Yeah, but there's gay sex on Mars. Tons of gay sex. Dude. <laughs> there's about to be. I'll tell you that. <laughs> when I get there, start fucking those Martians. <laughs> That'd be funny. You get a Mars, just a trucker who's just like, "Hey, man, you might help me out." A little bit. You <laughs> yeah. You know, some guys actually go to Mars just so they can get fucked in the ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ran out of diesel about four parsecs away. <laughs> Speaking of gay sex, we're just gonna jump to it. Oh, James, we gotta talk to you about something. Instead we saw the lizards, Diddy footage of you. We saw what you and Pete Diddy were up to, and we just want to know that we are here to support you. This is yeah. you, you've if had there's anything you want to come clean You've had up. something in the chamber now. This is what this is. This is You have something <laughs> to show me. Well, I think you should have had something to show us a long time ago. That really looks like me. Was that me? Did you deep fake my face onto someone getting fucked? <laughs> what is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you guys? Oh my God, dude. That looks like my feminine fucking shoulders. I can't watch this, dude. <laughs> we 
we were, to- we were riding. You back. guys are gay, <laughs> yeah. man. That's what that means. <laughs> no, that was a woman. No, Michael's gay because he had to pour through the footage. No, that that was a woman. How did you? So you're a lady. I'm not gay. You're a woman. Yeah. The ultimate counter. I'm not gay. You're a woman. I mean, your face perfectly fit on that woman. So what are you? Yeah, tell me through this. I, I, this is the response I could have gotten. First, what is going on? Second, now he's curious. Like he's, <laughs> it starts with him being like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? It ends in like, how did you do that? Do like you, you have that little curiosity brain. Do you do this for all your podcast guests? <laughs> yes, I've been doing it once. I should do this every single episode. <laughs> yeah. I think you should. That's yeah, a nice oh, way, They don't know. It is, it is a... A black. We we're gonna try to find a guy's. So you can see faces on both of them. It's gonna be P Diddy getting fucked, or you fucking getting fucked by P Diddy. <laughs> yeah, that's great. No, it's really. I don't. It's very upsetting to see yourself <laughs> get fucked in the ass. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this black mirror situation <laughs> I'm in right now, no. where I'm synthesizing memories with a black man that I've never had. <laughs> in it's my also brain. a black male situation. A black male, black male situation. Yeah, give me a hundred dollars, yeah. and nobody will know the black man. Right. Yeah. Fucked no. you in the ass. No, that's not even the noise. I make during sex. I could easily <laughs> disprove that. that. But dude, court the, of law, have a black guy fuck me in the ass. I'll show you the noise I actually <laughs> make when that happens. <laughs> the facial expressions are like so good. Yeah. I don't know how they do that. Honestly, I might have my producer just put in a. No, nah, I won't. <laughs> no, you can do that. You All right, we'll put it. We'll them. put in one. Frame show them what you it. did to me. <laughs> my precious body. Yeah. Well, my the original plan image. was so much worse, and we didn't go with it. Yeah, the original plan, which you might have got keyed into last night. We were trying to find a picture of your mom, and we we're gonna have. Oh, a- is that what you were asking? <laughs> yeah. me if my mom's name was Cindy. My mom doesn't have Facebook, and that would have been bad. <laughs> what my mom getting fucked by, by, by Patty? We were gonna put Patty's wow, face on dude. it. We we're gonna try to find a guy with an Ebenezer Scrooge hat, so it looked like a news from bed episode. You trying to find Ebenezer Scrooge? And then I couldn't find any pictures of your mom. Right. And then I went through Pat. You didn't know this, but then I went through Patty's mom's. I, I couldn't find your mom on Facebook. <laughs> oh doesn't feel very nice. My doesn't. mom is there too. Because I told him the plan, and then he's like, "I was like, that isn't too far, right?" And Patty's like, "Nah, dude, it'll be very funny for the podcast." Like, oh, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah. yeah, yeah. As soon and as then, you said that, I'm like, "Wait a minute!" And then immediately, I was like, "Let me switch teams." And then me and James, I'm gonna tell James the full scenario. I'll be like, "He wanted to do this with your mom." But uh, yeah. I, I said it was too bad. I was gonna right. lie back. Like, I said, and then we'll do it to him. Right. That's yeah. awesome. And you can you can play that on the podcast. You think there's I no, could play that video on there? For sure, dude. There's no, there's nothing. You don't see it. By, by the way, I will say this. I was like, why? It's funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny if you're on this side of the, yeah, the yeah. seating. Yeah. I really want you guys to do this to yourselves to see what it's like. You remember the first episode of Black Mary where he asked to fuck a pig? Oh, yeah. This yeah. is what it feels like. Uh, Can I you feel explain like, to me what this is? The first episode of Black Mirror. The the princess of e- Europe or whatever gets taken hostage. And so right. the prime minister, they're like, we'll release her or we'll kill her. But we'll release her if you fuck a pig on TV and we see it. Yeah. And yeah. so that's, they essentially hold her hostage. So what this feels like is you guys just took my likeness and image and made me fuck a pig. You know, you think it, black it, men are pigs? No, not not in that, in that type, but to be objectified for your <laughs> for the hostage princess of your humor. You know I mean? <laughs> we we should uh, we should send videos to Hamas of them having sex with pigs, dude. That would be so just fun. dropping <laughs> <laughs> CDs just to release the hostages, dude. Dude, that would be so funny to just. Yeah. Now, uh, by the way, part of the app says no political leaders, which is very funny. Because where <laughs> yeah, do you draw the line? Like, can I just do like my mayor? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like it says, like you can't use political. Obama leaders. wasn't a leader. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's also wild because then you can't. You can do. You like, should make Obama <laughs> fuck me in the ass. That would have been nice, dude. There's so many people. Yeah, you could do a lot. That's of options. so annoying that that's against the terms. Of, I could do P Diddy fucking him. I could do yeah. me having sex with Taylor Swift. And then show all my dude. I wonder if any guys in high school do that nowadays. They're like, dude, I totally had sex with Taylor <laughs> Swift. <Right. laughs> just just showing so, their friend yeah. a deep fake of them begging. It's like this is really high quality. I was cracking up <laughs> thinking about uh like Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey like hooking up because everyone they're like the hot couple right now. Yeah. So yeah. everyone's probably we're a like, couple, like, like if they kiss, everyone's like, ooh, like I'd love if like like leaked sex tape and like it's just Taylor Swift and and Travis Kelsey in a room and Taylor Swift's laying down and Travis Kelsey's just sitting on her face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be so fun. Like so that's strange. what they're doing. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. he's sitting on Taylor Swift's face. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. That's what she likes, dude. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was wasn't that the 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 fifty cent thing was funny. Some girl tried to blackmail him. She's like, I'm gonna tell the whole world that you like getting your ass eaten. He's like, Okay, I'm gonna tell the whole world I like getting my ass eaten, which is so fucking gangster. Right. It's it's very funny because Kanye freaks out when Amber Rose was like, You like getting your booty eaten out. He's like, No, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> which we've learned because he did that is the wrong move. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah. you're totally like doing it. Why are you freaking that's out? That's not what I like. That's against that, 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 that's that's against God. <laughs> This was pre Kanye God. This was also post gay fish Kanye, so he was probably yeah. watching his ass there. Yeah. yeah. Or this is when he found God when he was getting his ass eaten. He's like, there is a God out there. <laughs> <laughs> True. I'm no longer going to curse in my rap music. We all find God in different ways, dude. For me, it was DMT. Yeah. For me, it was a lady's tongue in my butthole. It was the pig fucking the pig to save civilization. <laughs> <laughs> but then there was the other one. Yeah. So he. Like there was another one. Oh, the Drake one was really funny. It was like this stripper was talking about how she ate Drake's ass, and she said he was like giggling and stuff, and like ooh, <laughs> which is so fucking funny. Yeah. It's so typical Drake. I would be giggling too, dude. If yeah, someone's yeah. rummaging around down there, <laughs> like, ew, stop. But just the idea of Drake be like, oh, that's good. Oh. <laughs> Starting at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Starting at the bottom. Now I'm queer. Yeah. <laughs> Eating out your booty. Now the whole team queer. queer. <laughs> dude, I. I want to be Drake. I want to be. I want to Drakeify myself. I want to get an earring. I want to get a little heart caved, you know, carved into my head. Do you, you want to be bound to a wheelchair and then break free? Yes. Did he and break free at the end of Degrassi? Yeah, he breaks <laughs> free. With his he didn't want to be in the wheelchair. That's the plot. They tie him into it. It's yeah. <laughs> and he just levitates do. above everyone. He went, yeah. <laughs> he started levitating. Yeah. Six God. Yeah. yeah. Six God. Dude, you could have a Drake future. I, Drake future, dude. Yeah. Wow. That's kind of what this is, a little collab. That's kind of what that video was. A little, yeah, little, yeah, little, yeah, little collab. You're, you're kind of like future. You're like Drake, and I'm like the Baja man. Yeah. <laughs> Just a different <laughs> group completely. <laughs> that hasn't put out music in years. I had their CD when I was a young boy. I had the Baja man CD. Me too. Yeah. That song who, hates me the fuck up. Who, who let, let the dogs, dogs out? out? That's what they played when they let the Hamas hostages out. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> you see how ugly all those hostages? They, they were all like 85. <laughs> <laughs> I see them every day on a lamp post. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like kids though, you know? <laughs> are you talking about how, how unhot kids are, Patty? No, no, no. Yes. This is a repeat of the last podcast. Yeah, kids aren't hot. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, James. Whoops. We no, were I didn't know. No, but the most recent one was like, it was like 12 hostages. One of them was like 13 and the rest were like between the age of 60 and 90. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like yeah. these are just like, like all But th- there were people. hot 20 year old women getting kidnapped too, right? At one time. I think they got to go first. Oh, okay. Because spring break. <laughs> 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 just yeah. like, let us that out. Like, let's yeah. go. Yeah, they were probably so fucking annoying, dude. Dude, can you imagine their boyfriend? He's like, dude, she hasn't fucking hit me up. Oh, but we just, <laughs> yeah. He's just so annoying. He's like, oh. Or it's just the yeah, time you, of their life. He just isn't looking at the news at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I would. Was I talking about? There's got to be one guy who's the, the cool kind of like. Not cool, but just kind of I don't give a fuck teenager in like a mo- or in the Gaza Strip who just doesn't. He's like, I literally don't even care about this shit. It's so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't even care. You know, it's just like bombs like, are going off yeah. around. Like, I'm unaffected by it. It's, it's like just, a guy wearing yeah. shorts when it's cold. Yeah, Listening yeah. to two bears, one kid. <laughs> 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 it's like None of this makes sense. Why am I here? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I used to run open mics over there. <laughs> yeah. he, I'd be the last comic in God's. <laughs> He's barking. At the strip. Remember Louis uh, had a show in Ukraine the night the attack started? Oh, yeah, yeah. Everyone yeah. was like, is he there? Like, is yeah, he yeah, yeah. Nobody yeah. had that information. Like, Louis C.K. dies. And the U- dude, people would be so excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People that hate him be like, that's what you get yeah. for jerking off in front of ladies. You gotcha. Get- yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, my dream about Louis C.K., I told you this the other day. I, yeah. I had the funniest nightmare. I had this nightmare. I was opening in an arena for Louis C.K., and my mom got drunk and disrupted the whole show and was like super embarrassing, like just like falling out <laughs> of her chair. Entire arena. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the arena. Yeah, like that's how drunk she was. It was yeah. just causing problems. My dad was like talking over people, arguing with people, and I was like, "Dad, you can't do that." He's like, "You, you have no right to talk to me that way. You're my son." And I'm like, "Dad, you're disrupting this whole show." <laughs> From the stage, yeah, 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 yeah. And then <laughs> he's and, mic'd too. They hand him a mic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then I am walking on stage, and the whole arena is flooding out, and it's because my sister text met or she sent out an invite to a giant house party at my house so the whole arena left before the show and then louis looks at me he's like hey man i guess it's probably just not right to be. And I, just, I, I love that dream. louis is just cool with it he's like 
Hey, man. It happens sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So life sucks. But this is just never, you're never going to open. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Because I was yeah. like, I was this, like, this is, is the a- one opportunity, uh, not the one, but I was like, this is the biggest, clearly the biggest opportunity I've yeah. ever had in comedy. It gets ruined by my family. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, everyone in MSG, come to my house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, dude, we bought $60 tickets, but let's just go. Yeah, yeah, they just left before. It's, it's funny, too, because there was like comics before me that got to perform, and they were just like, no, it's like, yeah, let's go to this party. It's, <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, instead of hanging out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's the power of uh, family. You know, that's the message there. Yeah, you're turning into Michael Good. You turn it all into one life. I, I have to tie everything at the end. I'm like, well, that's why it's important that I, you know, did you maybe learn something from seeing you get fucked in the ass by a black guy? Did you maybe think? I, I honestly, guys, I, it has not left my mind since you showed it to <laughs> it me. It won't. And I think that that's just something that you just did to me, you know? Yeah. Now I got to think about what that would be. I would never have, I'm like one of those okay, guys. Okay, so that, Patty, Patty and you were talking about it, right? Patty's going, wouldn't it be really funny if I put Michael's face getting fucked in the ass by a black guy if P. Diddy came up in conversation? I, I'm not, I'm, I would be down for it. I'm just experiencing what it was like to have seen a video of myself getting fucked in the ass. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's different from you just being like, I'll give you a million dollars and a guy has to fuck you in the ass. Then it's just the prison of the mind. You know? Yeah, you this is your here. DMT trip. You, you, yeah. you made media <laughs> that yeah. saved onto your phone that I your visualized. Content and saw what if you walked down to me jerking off, dude? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. You're, you're a different guy oh, now. Well, I don't I know. Know. You're I like do. homeless. You're like wandering, <laughs> jerking off to pictures of me getting <laughs> fucked in the ass on the street. <laughs> I don't know what you're up to, man. You're going to Vermont. Who knows would, what you're up to? Would be coming like, in the snow. I think the most. <laughs> The most amazing putting your white snowman. face on black bodies, <laughs> fucking my supple, juicy ass. The most amazing Daddy. Me Too story in all of comedy would be Michael Good having a podcast and also making porn of all of his podcasts <laughs> and jerking off. Yeah, to it. I mean, you could post these onto Pornhub and have the guests getting all fucked as like the intro video, <laughs> and then that's just what you put as the thumbnail, and you get like a bunch of views. This yeah. is a hilarious idea. I'd have to get yeah. consent from the guests, but also the reaction is so much funnier. Like, <laughs> right. It's, yeah. right. It's but great. you could have the video early and people are like, what the fuck? And then the reaction comes later. Yeah. And I also, I did, your mom, it did feel a little bit like, oh, we don't have her permission, but as a friend, you have like prank permit. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. there's a certain consensual line with pranks yeah. where you're like, all right, this is enough to wear. Yeah. I don't think there's photos of my mom on the internet. She doesn't have like Facebook. There's not. We look. I yeah. found one. Yeah. <laughs> it was too blurry. Yeah, I, I, I have it saved on my phone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sure you do. And it's like so zoomed in. There's like eight pixels. <laughs> like I think that's James. That's either James's mom or like like a gargoyle on a building Damn. again. You them. texted me like, hey, your mom, did, did your mom name Cindy? Yeah, she it, added it, me it, on Facebook. This, was our this plan. is what they did. Listen, get this on the record. <laughs> he texted me. I was like, he's like, yo, are you, are you free to do the podcast tomorrow? I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm excited. That sounds great. And then he's like, is your mom's name Cindy? Someone named Cindy added me on Facebook and he sends me a picture of a gay woman's Facebook yes, page. Yeah, so I per- this is all part of the play. I told, we we're trying to figure out what your mom's name is. And, and I just immediately was like, no, that's not her name. No, you, you, know, you said it's, and then you said her name. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you bit. I didn't know. I thought I was like, no, that's not my mom. There's no bit. way he thought. No, I didn't bit. <laughs> I, how could I have known what you were going to do? Make a fake video of my exactly. mom getting fucked in the a ass A fish by doesn't Patty. know it's biting she the She took Lord. you to Gutfeld, and you were going to make a video. <laughs> she reserved tickets for you to see Gutfeld. She's a nice woman. She took me to Gutfeld, but Pete Diddy took her to Buttfeld, dude. <laughs> Well, it was going to be you in the video. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, there was That's definitely. That's what he calls himself, <laughs> P. Diddy. Butt, yeah. Butt felt. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, no, it was going to because My butt like, fell to that black <laughs> cock going inside <laughs> of it in the colonial sense. Well, it was so funny, too, because it was like, in my mind, I, I did decide. I was like, even if I found a picture, I'm like, that would be crossing. Because we don't have, like, fully consent for it. It is kind of a weird thing. But you, it's yeah. like a friend pranked me. I was like, it'll be fine. But then, so this <laughs> this morning, I, mean, yeah, I was just <laughs> on this couch watching. <laughs> you slept here? No, I slept right there on the air mattress. That's the same though. I didn't know that. You've I've been, been sleeping here for weeks. I didn't know that. <laughs> I've been here for a oh, long. I didn't know. Yeah, that. that's why my brain's turning into a goblin. This is a house full you're of goblins. You're making porn of your guests. You're yeah. just. Have you run out of porn, Michael? Have you just <laughs> being single? You just saw it all. You got to. <laughs> I got to see. I got to see. Well, the funny part is, I initially I, I didn't make the. So I was like, okay, well, I got to find a gay porno, and I had to like look through gay porn like this morning, mm-hmm. and. Definitely straight. I, I will say this. This isn't me just trying to lot gay. I, it is very disturbing. Yeah. I've always prided myself in being like, ah, it's funny, dude. It's fucking the ass. It's all funny. And then when you really see it, it is like, 
I was gagging. Yeah. Know, I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, this is like it's very like disturbing. worse than like bombings in in, in, yeah. uh, in Gaza <laughs> right now. It is like harder to stomach, dude. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, look, I I think you know, I'm a very progressive guy, but I'm like, if if the homophobic people, maybe they stumbled upon, maybe this is where it starts. They stumble upon. Maybe yeah. I'm on. It all starts with making journey. memes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you You're on a journey. It all starts with a practical joke. Be like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna fuck my friend in the ass. Yeah, yeah. Because then he got fucked in the yeah, ass. And the next thing you know, you are a gay. Did this happen to like Ben Shapiro? You think he's like, this will be a funny prank. <laughs> I'll do one of my friends getting fed. He goes, oh God, oh Lord, that's what they're I'll doing. I'll put a yarmulke on my Christian friend. <laughs> take a photo of him while he's asleep. <laughs> and then and he's just getting fucked in the ass <laughs> yeah. six months later. Yeah, yeah. This is a great prank. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to shoot my prank juice Have in you his been ass. pranking? Have you been staying here? You guys have a little prank war going on? We actually haven't been doing any Peanut prank. butter on the finger? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's yeah, a Peter mess! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a dog. Like, oh, oh, he came in his pants. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was like, like the water thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, somebody you put your friend's hand in water and he just gets hard and starts <laughs> shooting loads. In his yeah, pants. You're like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what, what, I, what I intended. Dude, when when I was like a kid, we used to do the, the Dutch <laughs> oven. Do you remember that one? Yeah, oh, when you, you fart. fart under a blanket. Yeah. yeah, we like set up like a like a four almost like a giant like uh like one of those things that you cook like pottery in out of like pillows. We made like a giant furnace and there's a top like a throw pillow on the top that we would just open up and just rip farts in and then like, close it. The top. But did you put anybody in there? <laughs> yeah, there's a it was my friend's younger like cousin ET. in there. And like I don't want to gas chamber him. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what ET? Yeah, you know when ET he's like just laying there all disheveled on the side of the river. That's what <laughs> Yeah, let's go fart in box. that dead alien's face. <laughs> 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 Got him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If ET was accurate, they would have teabagged him or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for some sure. Some sort of eighties prank. <laughs> Dude, yeah. when I was when I was a kid, I remember sleepovers were so funny as a kid. Like so that was the funny shit. Like this one kid, like we thought someone was breaking in. It was just like his dad taking out the trash because we were yeah. kids. We freaked out. And one of my friend's cousins, he was like, "Oh, it's, what if these are my last moments?" And he opened up his his little shitty phone and he just had like a picture of Selena Gomez in a bikini. <laughs> and he was like, "I just want to look one last time." <laughs> like what? We That's got- such a well. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I was riding home from a uh, Brooklyn Comedy Club with Michael last night, and on the train, Michael's just zooming in on a chick's tits. Dude. When it was in the stomach, I trust you, she was pregnant. But yeah, it yeah. was, I was just on bubble. It's like just no shame publicly <laughs> zooming in on a woman's stomach. Man, on a woman. I'm like looking tell. over his shoulder. He's just zooming. Out. Like, Zero dude, shame. You <laughs> can't do that on That's the train. Funny. That's like what is I'm learning there? the rules of being single. Turns <laughs> yeah. out you can't digitally animate your friends. Zoom the face zoom. Into pornography. That was never part of it. No one was like <laughs> I mean, doing I'm that. Through, I'm going through a hard time right now. You and a relationship. Chip is like I would never do that. I would never. My friend's my going friend. through a really hard breakup right now. He keeps making porn of me, getting <laughs> fucked in the ass. And well, that's not a usual step of the recovery. Sending process. it to me. Yeah, he's homeless. <laughs> <laughs> he's making porn of me. I love my friend, man. I hope he gets through it. Hi, this is Dr. Drew Pinsky. Yeah, my uh, friend is making porn. Hey, Delilah, can you play a song for me? Because my friend keeps making porn of me getting fucked by black guys. Sure. Sometimes I feel like it. <laughs> get That's him. the song she played. <laughs> what song is that? Bam, bam, get away. <laughs> this is perfectly natural. A lot of people, they they make pornos of their friends when they're going through really hard times. It's, I've got to <laughs> run fuck <away>. a guy. <laughs> Oh, she, so you see, you're you're tweeting. I'm just tweeting at like every podcast show. I'm like, hey, hey, Theo Vaughn, <laughs> my friend keeps making points. You know, they all do Q and A podcasts now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, tell you what you're gonna do. You gotta make. I can't do it, Theo Vaughn. I don't know why I made him. Jordan Peterson. Hey, man, your friend puts a brother behind you, starts changing their face. <laughs> That's just on God. Man. <laughs> yeah. All right, that doesn't help me at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for being southernly poetic. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the guy God. gets too much credit for having an accent. Just he's, like the same thing with Matthew McConaughey. Just an aimless thought. Just gets to be like a YouTube clip. Yeah. Oh, I disagree. I, I I love him. I mean, I love 
Theo Vaughn. But, you hate like, every you know. comedian. You think you're better than everybody. No, else no. Here. I just think sometimes <laughs> it's like Theo Vaughn inspires fan, and you click the video, and he's like, I don't know, man. There's pythons and there's oh yeah, 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 and it's yeah, like yeah. what? I don't know what you're talking. About. Same you, thing with like Matthew McConaughey, right? You should yeah. send that video as your tape to the tiny cover. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. I should do that. I've also just decided I'm never gonna. I figured out I'm never gonna perform there again. Oh, but, you got booted? No, no. They have comment cards now. That, right? Yeah. Say, if you were ever offended by anything, like right, I'm like, yeah, there's not that yeah. I'm like out there. I'm never trying to be offensive, but I'm like, there's no way that right. I'm not. Yeah, gonna. all you got to do is step on the wrong blade of grass. Yeah, right. Or call a woman fat while she's leaving a show, and then calling her back into the show subsequently. Patty, <laughs> you want you want to explain the situation? So I have this video here of a fat. <laughs> <woman>. <laughs> If you had that video, dude, a counter, dude, like a fucking Wait, I do upside have down video. Yu-Gi-Oh okay. card. <laughs> now let's reverse the scenario. The lady that heckled Patty and then he yelled at a bunch or whatever happened. Mm -hmm. He hit a woman. I don't remember the full story. Yeah, yeah. No, but, that's uh, most of it. Let's okay, get that out yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. He hit a woman. I hit a woman, but she was black. Okay. So you're saying she's she's she could tough take it? enough that it's... No, I'm going to let you figure out what that <laughs> is. Wow. What a novel <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> That's very funny. This is the racist pick. You figured it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Balls in your court. <laughs> the basketball Faggot. is in your court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, so what's the roles reverse? What's this? What's no, this no, story? no. You get that woman's face on a woman banging a guy with a strap on, and then you put Patty's face on the person. Yeah. And then is we, it funny? That's now? revenge. Yeah, I think that's she, revenge. she wouldn't be happy. She would be not mad at you anymore. She'd be sad. Yeah, that's that is the ultimate equalizer. Yeah, it's a, a f deep fake video of fucking you in the ass. Yeah. 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 That's that's how I'm gonna like solve every apology ever. Is just send a video of me getting fucked in the ass by, by the whoever, <laughs> <laughs> whoever I wrong. Is Greta Thunberg app? strap on baby. Yeah, sorry. She's Greta. eighteen now, right? I don't know. We can make those jokes. She's eighteen, but her Billie mind Irish is, is her mind is pudding, so she's like, <laughs> she averages to like sixty. We, yeah, but we she's autistic, like a... so she's really smart in some ways and then really dumb in other ways. Oh, true. By the way, speaking of all this stuff, Slim Jims should not be that hard to open. I was eating a Slim Jim on the way over here. I'm like, the biggest dumbasses eat Slim Jims, and they are the <laughs> hardest things to open. Yeah. You, you need to try your with your mouth. Yeah, yeah, you try with your teeth, and then you get it all wet, and then you can't open it with your fingers. And Wait, I, what does this have to do with Greta Thunberg? I have no idea how we Because you have to here. use your Thumbergs to <laughs> open it up? No idea. I just something about intelligence. That was, <laughs> that was bad. I wish that she was bad. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> what is she doing now? Is she does she have an OnlyFans? No. Uh, no, no, no. This no. is disgusting. She might be it's a child. literally so too. disgusting. What? Now that any now that I did something shamefully sexual. Now, uh, the second I become sex positive on this podcast. If a, ch if, a, if a child is famous for political reasons, there's no countdown for when they turn 18. But if it's for She's 20. She's reason, 20. Okay. Oh, oh, oh thank God. God. Piece Swedish. of ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I'd love to scramble her brain, dude. <laughs> back what into, what back into normalcy. <laughs> Wait, I fun. could see her doing. <laughs> this is fun time. I could see her doing a full reversal and then like uh, becoming like an anti environmentalist. I could see her transitioning into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> the mighty. See, that's thunder. the kind of stuff I think is fun. Like, I, there's always like Tucker Carlson where he's like, "Look what they're doing," and I'm like, "I want it to go that." Way. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I'm really mad that like everything. Credit like, Thunberg is a tree. <laughs> I guess the apple doesn't fall from the tree at all. <laughs> this is been Tucker Carlson. Wow. I was hoping you'd have a line or something. Me? You were yeah. hoping I would have something? Yeah. It's a hard one to find. I was following on. your lead, bro. Tucker Carlson being mad that Tuck Greta Thunberg, Greta Thunberg is, is now a tree. A tree. <laughs> a tree. <laughs> this Tuck is what they want from us. Wait a second. Thunberg, Israel, Palestine. What's her take? Wow. That's, that's yeah, look it up. Where does she stand? Greta Thunberg. How dare you? It's How probably you? like that bombs are an ecological disaster. Uh, yeah. Palace. I think it's cool to care about the environment, you know? I think it's cool, you know? It would be surprising. Now I'm so glad I have that video of you getting fucked in the ass after you <laughs> said that. It would be surprising if she's pro-Israel. She stands with Gaza. I don't know what any of this is going on. What does that mean? Which that, side is it? <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the stand, autistic side. <laughs> I stand with the, I stand the land. With Gaza. The land, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I stand with the land. <laughs> I stand with the streets. She, that is she so is like funny. our Pocahontas in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> stand in with what way, though? What if I fucked Greta Thunberg? I, I think she still looks like she's fifteen, so I, I would be. Yeah, but if we base that on, like, 
on how they look. I'm yeah, not a friend, pedophile. One of our friends bangs where looks younger. We always just call him a pedophile. <laughs> yeah. If we ba- like, if we base women on how they look, that means I'm not a pedophile. Okay, because you bang ugly women that look like they're a thousand years old. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Underage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's. I think you know? Greta c- should team up with Kyle Rittenhouse. They should start like something together because, like, that's like the American response to like the mm. European child. <laughs> like, kinda, we, we have our own like kid. the two sides of autism: the left side, and the right <laughs> yeah, side of is. autism. One yeah, is yeah, shooting is. people, and one's crying on you know Anderson Cooper. Yeah, it's also funny too because why was he wearing that glove when he had the gun? He had an air. Nothing's fucking lamer than having an AR-15, but wearing a surgical glove to hold. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to get germs on my fingers. <laughs> right, fucking yeah. pussy. Right, like a Michael Jackson kind of glove. Yeah, he probably had, he's probably one of those guys that had like ear like little ear protectors too, like little yeah yeah. Which to be fair, I use while shooting, but I'm also a giant <laughs> fucking pussy I'm to drown out all the rap music. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> the people he shot was white, right? He shot yeah. like a white yeah, guy, yeah, old white guy and a young white guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which we got to stop white on white crime. <laughs> <laughs> was like, he, he shot a pedophile. He did a service to it. like he didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so true. Yeah, yeah. they're like, like hey. George Floyd did uh, did fucking fentanyl. He deserved. It's like he didn't know that when he was kneeling on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried yeah. to like prove it like retrospectively that yeah, the people like, actually. Yeah, yeah. That, I think was that we were talking about on my podcast how ridiculous that trial was where they were trying to be like they're like no 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 the the uh, carbon dioxide from the car <laughs> like, <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. right like what the street was paved four weeks ago. There's a chemical <laughs> actually inside cement that makes you yeah die. the concrete <laughs> was curing yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it reacted with the melanin the in the knee his was skin opening in his lungs up yeah actually. you just want to be like guys how much do you hate black yeah, people yeah, yeah, yeah. like that you need to find like scientific anomalies you're doing like, math to prove why you should <laughs> yeah die. yeah those insane. are like those nerds who like try to disprove like uh theories on like like scientific theories like their job is to, flat like, earthers prove them wrong yeah well not Ne- technically flat earth. Oh, sorry, I brought it up, man. <laughs> I was listening to some flat earther today. I was I was listening to Bob while running. Like like when I when I lift weights, I listen to like hard rap music, and then I listen to like inspiring rap music when I'm running. I was listening to Can We Pretend That Airplane? I'm just running <laughs> as fast sky. as I can. <laughs> Are flying over a disc? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no round planet now. <laughs> Wait, is who's Bob? He's he's a flat earther like rapper. He's he's one of those guys that kind of like people thought he was gonna be like the next kind of kid cuddy kind of guy because he had kind of like he was one of those guys that's like. I'm rapping for those kids that are alone by themselves. Yeah. Let oh, you know okay. there's other people out there. Yeah. You know, one yeah. of those like, yeah. Do you skip class too? But actually, <laughs> secretly, you're smart, and nobody really appreciates your artistic value. You know those rappers? Yeah, yeah. 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 Do you are you a black kid that likes Dragon Ball Z? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> keeps drawing Goku on every page of your notebook. Uh, <laughs> Listen to this album. Yeah, you feel less alone. Yeah, it'll alone. resonate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I was listening to that. Yeah, he's a flat earther because he he did like um. In college, we had this thing where it was um, it was spring break in the Bahamas, and it was this fucking sick deal where it was like you paid like two fifty or something like that. I think it was like literally two seventy five, and then you get a hotel in the Bahamas, and then it's like three days of just straight partying, and then they have like a, what's it called like surprise guests, and they had Bob, which fucking sucked. It <laughs> <laughs> kind of a lame one, yeah. Yeah. but everybody at the bar was asking him about being a flat earther, and he's just like, it's just what I believe. But then we had little John, and he gets on and does one song. I was so pissed. He does shots, and he goes, I'm too drunk to do my job. It's like your job is being drunk and yelling <laughs> shit. I was so yeah. furious. Yeah, that's and I, crazy. And I tried to take a picture of him the next day. He's like, nah, man. And I was so fucking sad. <laughs> that sucks. But it's dude. also funny, though, when you, I was at a point where I didn't realize that celebrities don't. I was like, he owes me a pit, which is not true at all. It's like, <laughs> he's just living his life. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. and in my mind, I started just like telling everybody, I'm like, well, John, he's going to be in rehab in a couple months. I'm telling you. I, <laughs> trust yeah. me, I've seen this story the before. The first step is not taking photos yeah, with, yeah, with me. Yeah, I was so buttered about it. It's Mike, like, no pictures right now. I'm regular size John. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The camera adds 10 pounds. I can't be big John on <laughs> camera. <laughs> My dad got like in trouble because uh, he's like a huge fan of Grace Potter. I don't know if you know who Grace no. Potter is. She's is that Harry Potter's show. mom? Yes. <laughs> now, what is Harry Potter's no plot? Lily. Lily Potter. Lily Potter. Lily and James Potter mm-hmm. died to protect him. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why Paddy's dad got in trouble. Yeah. Yes. Good. Sorry. <laughs> Grace Potter. My dad was like a huge fan and would like send her like emails and stuff. And, Wait, like, who is she though? Do we ever She's a musician. Okay. She's like a Vermont based musician. But like we went to uh, a show one time and people were like standing in line and they were like 
Yeah, like they're like hiking up security because I guess like one of Grace Potter's stalkers is here and it was like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> it was just my dad. We're like, oh my God. Because he would like sneak like press passes and like try to get into like the, the you know, that like wow. strip in front of the stage where like he had like the worst camera. We're like, dad, you're not supposed to. Dude, we would go to <laughs> concerts with him and he would just be like on stage. Like we'd be like, <laughs> He'd be like, I gotta go to the bathroom, and then like what? we would be like, where stage? is he? And we'd see him in the like pit of like photographers. Oh, We're like, how in the base tonight, <laughs> dude? He would just get in places like that's that. Nuts. It was that's so kind of sick. Well, because I think as yeah. an adult, like as a teenager, like I had a friend. I remember this one guy in high school. He uh, at like um, it was called Sunset Music Fest. It was EDM Fest in Tampa. And he like jumped on stage on a bunch of drugs and got like tackled by security. And there's a video, and everybody's like, it's so fucking sick that he got tackled by it. And that was like, <laughs> as a kid, they expect that. But as an adult, they're like, there's no way this adult is sneaking behind the race potter. That'd be so yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. You can kind of get away with things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does. He just like does stuff that like you're like, people are like, oh, you can't go in there. He's like, yeah. We're going to go <laughs> until people are like, sir, you need to leave. And then we're going to loiter a little bit. Dude, I took him to the Brooklyn Mirage because he's like a big, big into like stages and lights and sound and like all that stuff. And the Brooklyn Mirage is like this big outdoor music venue with a giant LED screen. And this was like during the day. I took him past it. I was like, I just want you to see where it is because I like showed him pictures. And we pulled up and like there's like a door open because they were like loading in all the stuff. And he just gets out of the car and just walks into the mirage. And I'm just like, <laughs> so I just like scurried in behind him. So we just walked in totally empty while they're setting. It was like the coolest thing. Yeah. And he's standing in the middle. I swear to God, I've never, he's like a devout Irish Catholic. I've never heard him swear once. I, he looked at all the lights in there and was just like spinning around under his breath. He just goes, holy fuck <laughs> I like, damn i just like that's like giving your dad like a ferrari you know yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. like buying a house for your mom or something you get a Dude. holy fuck out of him yeah my dad's just said it's just not curse <laughs> yeah at least he made it holy you know yeah, yeah, yeah holy fuck yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a righteous fuck <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Righteous fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude. I wish I was like a little more like him in that regard and just like going out and getting getting the shit you want, you know? Well, people like uh what is it like this one guy I was talking to got says he gets into a bunch of UFC events. He just has a clipboard, black shirt, clipboard over a case of water. He just walks with purpose. And people are like, This guy is clearly involved with the UFC if he's got yeah. a case of water. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you get an on it shirt, look like you're one of Joe, Joe Rogan's yeah. kind of guys. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. The key is you have to work that vein in your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> they, they see that. That's like a sign. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. he's one of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him in. I did a lot of events with the radio station, and it would like the like the stupidest events would have. The you might want to sit up. You might be out of frame right now. Thanks. Yeah. Um. The, they would have like the stupidest events. By the way, would I, have, I, I just want to say I want your face in frame so I can use it for more pornography. Yes. For you. <laughs> <laughs> Some options. Yeah. Can you make more O faces? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, hold on. Yeah. I'll, I'll hold the yeah. mic like this for the rest of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, just security can be annoying. At, like the stupidest event. Like, like I went to like I did an event for the radio station, just like a street fair, and security wouldn't let us go anywhere. But I did an event at like MSG, and it was like the easiest place to just sneak in and out of. It was like, yeah, like, yeah. The bigger they are, they almost are like, well, what's going to happen? Oh yeah, there used to be this open mic in the East Village and then you walk past there and they'd be IDing the fuck out of people at like 3 p.m. You're like, yeah. what high schoolers are going to drink at 3 p.m.? Yeah. The fucking auto shrunken head. Exactly. <laughs> that's when, them out. That's yeah. when you know there's been like a, a thick amount of rape in the area. Yeah. When they, oh, when they, they start yeah. IDing. Pianos. Pianos. They were like yeah. the biggest ideas. Like you would get like padded. Dude, we, got, a, we got our show at Pianos, which you did. And yeah. like the week before like we got it, there was like a uh what was it a like a tiktok a t there was this tiktok that went viral about a woman who got date raped there uh, and it was like but that is always funny though when they blame the venue it's like yeah. the venue didn't put roofies in your drink and then right. meet you outside i mean unless, unless unless the woman was like passed out on the floor and they're dragging her by her ankles like that obviously you're like hey right. this is horrendous yeah this is pretty bad but it could yeah. indicate something about the clientele at the bar like, who's coming to this bar That's Weirdos, true, but, it just... but I, I get that but it's also like rapists can go like any yeah really? yeah <laughs> also, a little. Owner. I thought I was safe here anybody. now that I'm at a little tip for women. If you you're on a date and the guy has an eye patch, you might get roofied. <laughs> <laughs> if you're on a date 
and he's got long fingernails. <laughs> you might get roofy. <laughs> we, what, what Jeff Fox did we do on the last one? It was um, you might be a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Don't well, we can't try to do it. Oh again. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh wait, I also just realized we did. I think come down already did. That. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, they, I unintentionally. It's, have done it's hard it. to like re, uh, you know, Frankenstein a yeah. bit. Well, I always tell like. Uh, I have a younger sister. I always tell her, like, drink vodka sodas because it's probably, like, more... I have no idea if there's any science to that, but I'm like, it would be harder to see... It would be easier to see, like, a, a date rape pill in that. Yeah, maybe. I have no idea. I'm just... I totally just guess. All the ones I use are... Uh, <laughs> 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 completely <Clear>. undetected. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Scentless. Yeah, I have a perfect record. I went to a party once in college, and I did, like, two shots, and then I, like, woke up at home, and I was like, there was something in... Some, like, a bunch of random guys showed up at the party, and I drank some of their liquor, and I was like, what That's was in that liquor? <laughs> what was in that? Like, why yeah, did I wake yeah. up at That's home? That's such a power move to just date rape every single person at a party <laughs> and be like, now I get the pick of the liquor. Yeah, deciding. <laughs> just just a yeah, whole party's passed out. There's like a hundred <laughs> yeah, people. Yeah, like it's uh, what's what's, what's that? <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. No, throw that one in the back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But then you have to put them. You're like, we only have thirty seconds left. You have to put them up in place exactly <laughs> where they yeah, are. Yeah. Like a little mannequin. It's like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like what Twilight happened? Zone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Just go back <laughs> yeah. Why has my dick just been freshly sucked? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was, there was, yeah. Does anybody feel like their balls are slightly? <laughs> that was the only oh, thing. So relaxed right yeah. now. <laughs> that was the only thing about Click that was uh, not, you know. You think relatable. Adam Sandler would have just been a rapist? <laughs> I think any person. A movie out about that. I think any person who has the power to stop time would be by a proxy becomes a rapist. Adam. Yeah. You know what? To be fair, I've never had that power. I like to think I would never Dude, do something like you, that. Dude, but... if you, if you, if time got stopped forever, like first of all, if you go to prison for a while, it's proven that you become gay. Right. Like if time we got stopped earlier on the podcast, yeah. if time stopped on this podcast for an hour, you I would have sex with both of you yeah. guys. <laughs> and then I would take a video and change the faces <laughs> so it's not you guys. Yeah. I would reverse it. Wow. You yeah. make a human centipede. Yeah. It would be funny. Yeah. You put Alan's face on raping us. And you're like, no, it was Alan broke in here and raped us. Whoa. Yeah. Why aren't you getting raped? Alan, I don't know. I was just in a different room. Alan's face with my body. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did Alan lose weight? Yeah. I don't Did mind he? now, I guess. Yeah. Good for him. <laughs> yeah. You can just lie about weight loss. I'm just going to go yeah. tell people I used to be 400 pounds. That's, yeah. yeah. Makes me hotter. By I'm definitely losing weight and I'm going, I'm swinging by extra girlfriends to get stuff. And this is the week I've cared the most about losing. My diet's been so strict. Like last night, <laughs> yeah. I was going to take an edible. We're at like the weed shop. I'm like, do you have anything with zero calories? I don't want to break my intermittent <laughs> fasting. I'm going to look hot when I see my ex. Do you have any revenge edibles? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny too because I'm like going to like pick up like a TV and I'm just going to be like flexing and just fucking. <laughs> yeah. Small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. Are we trying to win her back? <laughs> no, no, I just want to make a good impression. I mean, yeah. you know, it's a, that's a complex it's question. Just, but <laughs> just, <laughs> just asking, I ask him straight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're making porn of me, I can ask you about your inner life. <laughs> well, the, the funniest question is people ask me where I live, and it's the most complex answer. <laughs> like, so, where City. do you live? I'm like, oh, I gave Max girl from the apartment. Uh, for two months, I paid rent. I'm kind of a hero. And then technically, I've been couch surfing and I'm about to sign a new lease soon. So I'm not technically homeless, but I'm sort of homeless. <laughs> yeah. And But I did the noble thing by giving her the apartment. That's yeah. my answer. Okay. To, to where do you that live? That is noble. I you love how noble. you realized it was noble right. after the fact when someone told you it was yeah, noble. Yeah, that's a noble thing. I was like, oh, yeah, I guess it was <laughs> a good thing. You are noble. Is that why that horse is, is skewed up outside? No, you're thinking of out? stable. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not stable. I am far from stable right now. <laughs> noble, but not stable. Have, have you gotten laid? Now that you're homeless, yeah, I've talked about it enough episodes. Dude, he's look, got, look, I'm sorry, he's, I don't know. I don't listen. Every no, no, week. he's gotten laid more in the past, like probably two weeks, than I have in my life <laughs> here. Like just taking him home to the air mattress. No, I don't no. know. No. I don't know who's squealing in and out of here. I'm not aware. You've you've you have had sex twice. <laughs> 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 all right guys move on move on <laughs> oh, yeah but uh um, a tear to my eye <laughs> oh, i don't cry yeah right. i want to go back to the date rape um all right let's get back i to remember that. i was arguing uh with bits by the way i this will we're, we're gonna relate all this together i'm an efficiency person okay this is weird where this place to start this is a weird. <laughs> so we were doing whippets. I was doing whippets at a a. I was at a comedy festival in Vermont this weekend. I haven't done whippets in like three years, and I uh, this guy's doing whippets and he's like, "Yeah, just do one." And I was like, "Okay." And they're all doing one whippet every like ten minutes. I'm like, "You know, you can just do three, and it's like way better, right?" And the guy's <laughs> like, "Dude, come, come on." He's like, "Look, I I'm like you. 
you know, I'm a drug addict, right? He's like, you know, I'm this, I was going to get- I'm like you. I'm a fucking piece of shit. And I was like, dude, I'm not a drug addict. He's like, but we're not doing three whippets at once. I was like, first off, you guys have been doing one whippet every 10 minutes. It's not better to do one every- t- Just do three at once and get the full effect. Right. I'm an efficiency guy. And um, like I was getting what's it called today. Like if the other kind of- I, I just, I like doing things the most efficient way. Like I'm getting caffeine pills and that's what I'm doing moving forward because there's zero calories in it. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's I don't know how that related to anything we were talking about. <laughs> you want to talk about date rape stuff? Yes, mm-hmm. I was defending whippets one time in high school, and this woman, this girl was like, "My my uncle's brain dead from whippets," and I'm like, "That's bull." I was just I was just like, "That's that didn't happen." I was in my mind. I was just that like, doesn't I, sound like it happens to an uncle, you know? It doesn't seem like uncles do whippets. Uh, is it sarcasm? That's no, no. You don't think so? No. Oh, I thought it would be like a 21 year old dirt bag. Well, no. maybe when he was 20 year old, 1 year old dirt bags die in motorcycle accidents they could have prevented. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty yeah. standard. Yeah, or drug drug. <laughs> but it was like, she was very much, she's like, he, he is branded from Whippets. I'm like, first off, like, that's so, like, you have to do so many drugs to be brand. Like, it's like, that's always, there's always that thing. I remember, like, uh, I think my dad said that about some rock star. He's like, yeah, you know, Robert. Plant's brain is just fried from drugs. And it's just not true. He's great in interview. Like, parents, <laughs> yeah, they, they yeah. love saying things like that. They're like, the heroin... Fr- heroin doesn't fry your brain. Like, these are all inaccurate no. things. Ozzy's brain is fucked up. That is from massive amounts of drugs. Yeah, but that's from, like, eating live animals on stage. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, just yeah. biting and into British. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. oh, oh. yeah, your teeth just start growing back into your skull when you're British because yeah, they're yeah. so just fucked pushing up. pushing up against your brain. <laughs> yeah. but, but the woman, she, she, like, looks up a, an article in The Beast. It's, like, the danger of whippets. It's, like, some people use whippets to date rape people. It lasts one minute. Who is yeah, that's who is doing fat. a whip it and then your friend does a whip and then you pull your pants down and immediately they're like, what? And you're like, go, oh, go, 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 go. Yeah, it's like, that's not a scenario that happens. Nobody's yeah, raping people on whip it. <laughs> go, 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 go. Unless yeah, you're doing an Inception style gas mask <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. On a plane, on a train. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to inception people's like, but like just in their dreams, you know, you just have sex with them in their dreams. Yeah. yeah. That'd be fun. Inception, sex. Inception. Yeah, I, I wish there was a way to know if someone fucked you in their dream. They, they'll I tell to, you if they think you're hot. I, I used to think. I guess. I used to think all the time in high school, like when I had sex with a girl in my dream, I like counted that in my head. Like I remember being all <laughs> yeah. I yeah. literally be like, hey, what's up, Morgan? And I was like, yeah, it's pretty great night yeah. last night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have said a legitimate girl from my high school. <laughs> <laughs> and I also didn't have to say that part. That just straight <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, 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 we didn't know. <laughs> uh, but I remember I was like, yeah, I was walking into the class the next day. I was like, yeah, you know. Still? Yeah, I, like I had that confidence as if it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because I'm like, there's no way that's there's got to be some truth through, which there's not. It's just my brain having yeah. to be open for comedians in arenas and having sex with women. <laughs> <laughs> it's always my brain is always more successful than I am. Like, I, my dreams are always like I'm never doing worse. Really, I'm always doing better in my <laughs> yeah. dreams. I'm like, yeah, of course I have a Ferrari and I'm friends with Joe Rogan. <laughs> Do you remember? You wake uh, up here on the couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, fuck. Do you remember my friend that uh, I stayed with in Austin? Yeah, I don't want to yeah. say his name just because uh, of yeah, this yeah. story, but uh, when he was in high school, on like three occasions, we would like get fucked up, and then like we'd like run outside, and he would run over to this girl's house who like lived in the neighborhood, and he would just shit on her porch. <laughs> <laughs> he did it like so, so many times. Oh my God. And, like, pe- like people were like, "Who is like who's <laughs> doing this?" And like we always knew, and it was a secret. And uh, now dude. I just spilled yeah, the secret. It, but I had to. It's so funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Taking a dump on a hot girl's fucking porch. That is awesome. Yeah, that is a great power move. There, I said you were hot. How about that? <laughs> yeah. There's just no way. How about she takes it. a dump on my porch? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> my chest. <laughs> my porch. The is porch right. of the body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my front door. <laughs> this is the screen door. <laughs> and this is my porch, right? <laughs> By the way, uh, Veranda, we were talking about this last week. It's a oh, patio. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It was mentioned, by the way, I learned things. It's like a lanai. Yeah. Don't they have a lot of lanais in Florida? A gazebo. <laughs> a but gazebo's a thing. Gazebos are beautiful, dude. Yeah. Not all of them, but like in most of the time, if you have a gazebo, something beautiful, it's like a wedding or something. You like Florida yeah. houses? Uh, some of them. So, like, I really like Spanish style houses. Yeah, 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 those are nice, right? You go to like the expensive areas of Miami; they look really nice. Ooh, over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. I don't like. I really hate New England style houses. Like, yeah. I, I hate the Northeast kind of look where it's like it looks very like it just looks white as fuck. Right. Everything yeah. looks like a miniature White House for some reason. Yeah. There's like columns. Like, yeah, I fucking you're hate a plumber. That shit. Why do you need columns? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the pipes running through those. Yeah, you think Pitbull's house looks like that? No, it's no. fucking sick, dude. Fucking DJ Khaled. Yeah, he probably has a sick house. He does. Star Island. Pussy you're, fucking. You ever been to Star Island? No, it's Miami. This. It's where all the celebrities live. Really? Yeah. It's on an island. There's no way it's called Star Island. It's called Star Island. 
on the map? Is it Star Island? It's called Star Island, brother. Huh. Okay. <laughs> wow. Very same as uh, where the Statue of Liberty lives today. Star of my heart. Yeah. <laughs> Gazebo. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new catchphrase. Dude, I morning see, good. I didn't realize this until I brought like uh <laughs> what's happened? Did your brain <laughs> fall out? What's going on? Are you I've good? Been, I've been baited. He, I've been baited still, and now I gotta He's still he, I think I just I just melted my brain. brain with that. <laughs> yeah. This is like psychological yeah. damage I've caused, <laughs> yeah. James. Yeah. I it's think, like a v- mind virus. I really don't know if we're gonna get over this in our friendship. There's really this weird <laughs> feeling I'm feeling right now. I have to do something to you now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Is I wake up on the Your Majesty's Fucking me in the ass. Yeah. Is it funny now, Michael? You're, we- you're wearing Patty's face. I've cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the real deep fake. <laughs> deep in this fake boy's ass. A real life deep. <laughs> That's so funny. Just wearing someone else's random face for some reason. <laughs> I'm just wearing like the neighbors. Yeah. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> that was like well, the blacks. They wouldn't be black fans. You can't yeah. do that, James. Uh, that's like, that's, where, that's we where, where we draw yeah. the line. Yeah. Yeah. That's like that joke on the Nick Mullen special where he's like, uh, someone's like, yeah, we're pregnant and touches the belly. And he's like, I know where babies are. Yeah. I'm not gonna get to <laughs> he's like, fuck you. I'll rip off your face and I'll fuck your wife. It's <laughs> like, I'll kill your whole family. <laughs> I'll be pregnant with my family. <laughs> <laughs> That was so, hilarious, by the way. People, I mean, I, I don't want to. I don't have to be promoted. I see, feel so lame promoting more successful comedians. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. don't need our thing. But Nick Mullen's special is fucking hilarious. very good. Yeah, I, I think it was the funniest one I've seen this year. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. It's it's yeah. good to just see like good comedy. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it's there's not a lot. There's so much. Yeah, it's hard to. It's becoming Netflix. Like you know, when Netflix just puts out a ton of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then none of it is good. You ever watch all these like ten minute sets that are on YouTube from like huge companies? You know, no. like, like I don't know, like all these random companies, like JetBlue will have like a stand up <laughs> special. <laughs> Why do you stand up on YouTube, JetBlue? They should collaborate because so much of comedy is about airplanes and airlines yeah, yeah. but know? nobody wants to be on an airplane reminded of that they're on an airplane that's why mm, they cut yes. all air flight crash scenes out of movies do they actually do that yeah they do and then that's why they don't have like disaster movies on airplanes it's all curated. how do they do 9-11 the movie <laughs> or sully <laughs> they just don't yeah. put those on there they're not gonna really? put sully on a plane because it's gonna remind you that that can happen right i was like kind of thinking I mean, you myself. can watch sully on your personal device <laughs> they're not gonna be like yeah. take that <laughs> Throw it out of the plane. They, they just close the screen slowly, <laughs> sir. 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 I was always, I was like thinking to myself the other day, like why you never see like a fat pilot. And then I realized it was <laughs> it's because the plane would just nose dive <laughs> into the ocean. Yeah. You have to have weird. a fat stewardess in the back to balance it. <laughs> balance it out, yeah. I'll just toss you the peanuts from the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are, uh, I hate to do this, but we are at an hour. I had a great oh, time. That was oh, this great. This was a fantastic experience. <laughs> I was fucked in the ass. <laughs> we laughed. <laughs> we cried. We cried. I, I all, cried. I was fucked in the ass again, you know? <laughs> yeah. I have uh, nothing to promote. <laughs> Late Night Live. Yeah, on the 13th. December 13th at Star you Bar. Wanna, you want to come? Maybe I'll have something to show you. <laughs> What are you doing on December? I really 13th? don't like the energy a I've pr- created. A premiere <laughs> on the on the slide of at the show. Michael yeah. getting gang banged by Star group. Bar December thirteenth. Come watch Michael Good's life <laughs> fall <laughs> like the sands of time. <laughs> 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 That'll teach you to put my face on a woman's body. <laughs> It's so much fun here that it's a woman. I really wish your tits were in the video, too, because it would be like, I'm gone. Well, I like that they're not, because now I'm telling you, dude, you can play that. Okay, any. okay. But, uh, yeah, Patty is funky. News from bed. Check it out. Perfect. I already said my thing. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you for listening. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks, listener. And, by the way, shut up. <laughs> Peace. Oh, that, 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 sorry, I don't like that I did that. I just I don't, <laughs> I don't like that I said peace like I think I'm cool. All right, love you guys. Thank you. <laughs>